Now we're going to find the probabilities for each of the following z scores or x. So first r is a is equal to p is less than 1.32. So this is z score. So it's 1.32. This is less than. So letter a, the first thing we're going to do is draw the the normal curve so that it would easier be easier to understand. So excuse me for that no normal curve. This is zero. So this approximately 1.32 is on the right of zero. So x z is less than. So less than so in here to the left. So must well eat to 1.32. So to the left is if we're now we're going to use the table to find the area. So this is 1.33. I say 1.32. So 1.32. So 3 2. This is 0 0.2. So 1.302. So 0 0.9658. So the area is 0 0.9658. So 90 90.658. So 96.58. So the probability is because it's usually in percent, so you're just going to move the decimal point by 2. So move it in here. So 90.658%. So the probability that the z score is less than 1.32 is 90.658 or 90.658%. Letter B. So letter B is the z-score is less than negative 1.05. So this is 0. So here and here, negative 1.05. So the left shan is 0 because it's negative. Siya. So z is less than. So less than in here. Kapag greater than on the right. So less than. So negative. So we'll use the negative. So negative 1.05. Negative 1.0. This is negative 1.0. So, nang 5 in here. So, 5 straight to so 5 straight to so negative 1.0. So, it's 14686. 0 0.14686. So, 0 0.14686 or 14%, 14.686%. Letter B. This is. Um, draw first the normal curve normal curve so it's between 0 negative 0 0.75 negative 0 0.75 at saka 1.56 kapag nasa gitna siya ibig sabihin between yan siya so this is 1.56 so, so this is 0 so negative siya on the left positive siya on the right so between so between so unang natin kukunin is yung negative 0 0.75 negative 0 0.75 so it's in here 22663 22663 so two, na, 0 0.22663 now 1.56 1.56 so 1.5 dito napin natin 6 94062 94062 94062 so kapag in between ito siya i minus mo lang dito so to make it easier let's use the calculator 0 0.94 062 minus 0 0.22663 that's 0 0.71 0 0.71399 or 71.399% there d c p dao what's the probability that it is greater than z is greater than the greater than if it's been as a right negative 0 0.88 to the right so kapag right na hanapin muna natin si negative 0 0.88 Negative 0 0.88. Negative 0 0.8. Here it is. Tapos 88. Ito siya. 18,946. 18,946. So, 18,946. 
So because it is, is it really nine four six six? Zero point eight eight. Sorry, I think nine four three. So nine four three. Sorry. So nine four three. Because it's nine four three. It means to be and because it's to the right. It means to be nine minus nothing. Ito. So. 1 minus 0 0.18943 18943 is 0 0.81057 or 81.057% so that's the percent the probability that it would be greater than negative 0 0.88 now let x be a normal random variable for problem number 2 with mean which is this is the mean 15 and standard deviation of 3 to find the probabilities of the following that x is greater than 19 x is the random variable it's not random variables so ang gagawin natin gawin muna natin siyang normal random variable let's change that to z z is x minus mu over sigma so x is 19 minus 15 divided by 3 so 19 minus 15 19 minus 15 divided by 3 it's for 1.33 so let's round it off to two decimal places 1.33 so because it's 1.33 let's do the no normal curve 1.33 x is less than so less than siya nito so less than siya sa left so kung left siya mas madali lang hanapin lang natin siya so that's the answer 1.33 1.33 so 90.824 or 90.824 next so p now is in between 10 and 19 so hanapin muna natin si 10 gawin natin z so 10 minus 15 over 3 tapos dito naman sa 19 it's 19 minus 15 over 3 we solved it already a while ago 19 1.33 kung ano naman kung 10 it's 10 minus 15 that's negative 5 10 minus 15 divided by 3 it's negative 1.67 negative 1.67 so hanapin natin yung mga let's draw first pala the 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 bell curve so it's negative 1.67 1.33 sa gitna si x so let's find the area for negative 1.67 so this is positive and up and muna si 1.33 1.3 3 90 8 so 0 0.9824 negative 1.67 negative 1.6 Seven. One point six seven. So zero four seven forty seven forty six. Zero point zero forty seven forty six. So that's kapag between minus mo lang yan sila dalawa. That's the probability or area ninety. Sorry, zero point ninety eight two four minus. 0 0.04746 0 0.86078 or 86.078 percent last one this is a problem solving um this the mean number of hours a filipino worker spends on the computer is 3.1 so the mean though is 3.1 hours per work day so suppose the spending time is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 this is standard deviation 
Find the percentage of workers who spend less than 3.5. So x now would be 3.5. Less than 3.5. So x would be less than. So is that worker will spend less than 3.5. So 3.5 hours on the computer assuming that the variable is normally distributed. So x is less than 3.5. Sorry. Sorry. S is less than 3.5. So, ang una natin gagawin kasi ang given is x. It's not the z, but it's the actual time. So, kung pag actual time, that's x. So, go, hanapin natin si z. Kung si z, it's x minus mu over, which is equal to 3.5 minus 3.1 over 0.5. So, 3.5 minus 3.1 divided by 0 0.5, it's 0 0.8. So the z score is 0 0.8. So graph, or no, sorry, tape the curve 0 0.8 less than, less than sha. So here to the left. So because it's 0 0.8 only, 0 0.8. So, 0 0.8 lang siya. So, dito mo siya. 78,814. 78,814. So, 78,814%. So, that's the answer. Ibig sabihin, 78,814% spend less than 3.5 hours in computer.